Hello everyone, I'm Erin. My mom always told me that I was completely normal, but that's not the case. I realized it when I met a guy and decided to do something very stupid for him. I stood on the edge of a bridge and told him I would jump and that I wasn't scared at all, and I jumped. And now my life is ruined. Listen to my story and then you'll understand why I did it. My parents were weird. They wouldn't let me go to school or play with other children and always kept the kettle, iron, and knives hidden from me. My mother would always tell me scary stories about somebody getting burned in a fire or getting run over by a car and dying. I didn't know why my parents acted like that. When I turned 16, my mother passed away. She had cancer. My dad was stricken with grief, but he found a way to escape. He started drinking. He quit his job and money started getting tight, but then no one was controlling me. I told him that I wanted to go to school, find friends, and meet a guy. Ever since I was a kid, I had always dreamed of true love, like in the movies. Dad didn't seem to mind. On my first day at school, the girl behind me was constantly laughing at something. And when class ended, I saw thumbtacks on my chair. The next day, this mouth breather started touching me on my back. I didn't know what she wanted, but then a cute blonde boy yelled at her to knock it off. I turned around, and she looked like she'd seen a ghost. Everyone was looking at me the same way. After all, there was a needle sticking out of my back. I was scared too, but not because of the needle, because I didn't feel anything. Absolutely nothing. No pain. The next day at school, everyone was staring at me. I wanted to run away, but then I heard, Hey, Invincible. It was the blonde guy. He smiled at me. He said his name was Evan and that I was the talk of the school. Everyone was talking about my super ability to endure pain. Evan and I were immediately attracted to each other. I didn't think that kind of thing actually happens, but we were like kindred spirits, completely on the same wavelength. By the way, that dumb chick turned out to be his ex, and she was a real bitch. But more on that later. One time, Evan and I were walking in the park, and some moron hit me in the face with a ball. I fell, but I didn't know why. It seemed like the ball barely touched me. But Evan said that I might have had a concussion, because I got hit hard. He couldn't believe I wasn't hurt. Then I confessed to him that I didn't really know what pain was. Before I started going to school, I didn't have to worry about it, because my parents always protected me from any possible danger. So I didn't know if I had always been like this, or if it was a new development. He decided that we needed to test me. He took a lighter. I raised my hand. He brought it closer, closer. I felt absolutely nothing. Evan took a video and posted it on his page. And the next day, I earned my first $10. Some guys at school came up to us and said that the video was fake. Evan argued with them that it was real and lit the lighter. I won 10 bucks. True, I got a burn on my palm. And even though it didn't hurt, we decided that it would be better not to do any more fire tricks. The guys from school started coming up with new challenges to test my abilities, and they were always willing to pay. I needed money. I liked the hot coffee test the most. It didn't hurt or leave a mark. I calmly drank it in one gulp. I spent all my time with Evan. He once confessed that I was the best thing that had happened to him, and kissed me. It was my first kiss, and I felt it. It was mega cool. Evan also told me that I was like a real superhero. He even gave me a code name like Jessica Jones from the Marvel Universe, Treasure. Only he could call me that. Evan invited me to a party. His ex was there too. It turned out that she had been watching me, and as soon as I was alone, she ran up to me. She was hysterical that if it weren't for me, Evan would be with her again. Then she threw a whole glass of lemonade on me. My dress was ruined. Then she looked at me with horror. I told her that if that's how it was going to be, then I would have fun without a dress. It was a pool party anyway. When I came up to Evan, he was shocked. I was afraid that he didn't like me, but he asked me what had happened to my skin. I had blisters. It turned out, that the bitch had thrown hot tea on me. 
By the way, we stayed at that party until the very end. She didn't ruin our evening. My life seemed perfect. I had superpowers, money, and the coolest boyfriend. But on that terrible day, one guy at school called me a freak. Evan stepped in, and they started fighting. I intervened and got hit too. The blow knocked me down, but I immediately got back up. With his next punch, the brute knocked out Evan, and I pounced on him with my fists. He pushed me away, but I immediately got up. I don't know how many times I fell and got up, but this idiot was tired, and I had more left in me. He couldn't do anything to me. Everyone started whistling and telling him to get out, but he pushed me again, and I laughed. He looked like he was going to cry. My popularity at school soared after that. But after a few days, it became difficult for me to breathe, and I got a cough. Dad took me to the hospital. It turned out that I had two broken ribs and needed surgery. I didn't know how that was possible. Then the doctor asked my dad if I still didn't know. I have a hereditary autonomic neuro... It's impossible to pronounce. Basically, a congenital insensitivity to pain. This means that I'm so numb to it that I can do any operation without anesthesia. But I also have no instinct for self-preservation. After all, pain is what warns the body of danger. After the hospital, I decided to quit the dangerous challenges. I told Evan that I had a cold. I didn't want to tell him the truth. That my body was like everyone else's and not meant for pain trials. I still wanted to be his treasure. Someone completely unique. I was so stupid. I agreed to another test. Last one. The guys bet $200 that I wouldn't dare to jump from Hell's Bridge. That's the name of the old bridge near the school. There used to be a river flowing under it, but now it was just land. Last year, a guy jumped off of it and broke his leg. It was about 16 feet high. I wasn't afraid to jump, but I also didn't want to break my leg and walk with a crutch for the rest of the year. But $200 is a lot, so I decided to do it one last time. Here's what happened. I landed badly, and now I may never be able to walk. My life is ruined. No money was worth that stupid bet. Are you wondering what Evan did? He still supports me and says he loves me, but if I never get better, will he stay with me? I hope that the operation will be successful, and I will be able to walk again. Please wish me luck. Take care of yourself, and never do stupid stuff for money. Thanks for listening to my story.